Thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Coming up, who's leading the charge? But first, your morning headlines. Fiat Chrysler CEO Mike Manley is reconsidering a decision announced in January to stop building Ram heavy-duty pickups at a plant in Saltillo, Mexico. Manley may keep production in Mexico as part of a push to lift FCA out of the number three spot in U.S. pickup sales. When U.S. President Donald Trump was threatening a 25 percent tariff on Mexican-made pickup trucks earlier this year, Fiat Chrysler said Saltillo would be repurposed to produce future commercial vehicles. The automaker said production of the next generation Ram Heavy Duty pickup would shift to its truck plant in Warren, Michigan, starting in 2020. But now, the U.S., Mexico and Canada have a tentative trade agreement that imposes no ceiling on shipments of pickups to the U.S. from Mexico, provided they meet thresholds for the share of parts produced within the region. Manley telling Reuters, quote, with a combination of Warren and Mexico building what we call the classic truck, we have enough production to increase output next year if it's required. FCA has turned to a strategy of loading its revamped Ram 1500 full-size trucks with new features as it tries to eat into sales of Ford's F-Series and General Motors' Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. But Manley tells Reuters, FCA needs to move into second place, adding, quote, Frankly, I don't care which of the two I take share from. Now, a shakeup at South Korea's Hyundai Motor Group. The head of Hyundai's U.S. operations, Lee Kyung Soo, has stepped down to become an advisor to the company, the automaker not naming a successor. Lee, who goes by Kenny, was named president and CEO of Hyundai Motor America in September 2017. Also today, Hyundai Motor promoted two veterans of European brands to key posts. Thomas Schmira will be responsible for product planning for autonomous cars, connected and electrified vehicles. The former BMW executive joined Hyundai in March to oversee its high-performance car division. Luke Dunkerwalka, a former Bentley design chief who started his stint at Hyundai in 2016, will be design head. He replaces Peter Schreier, who last month took over a new role as head of design management. Hyundai said the overhaul is part of an effort to accelerate innovation to achieve sustainable growth. The reshuffle coming as the automaker battles plunging profits. It also comes a month after the group promoted heir apparent Yu Sun Chung to executive vice chairman. Chung moving a step closer to succeeding his octogenarian father as head of the country's second largest group. In addition to the personnel changes, Hyundai Motor Group announcing that it has created an artificial intelligence lab to focus on developing mobility services. It also created a fuel cell electric vehicle business division to double down on hydrogen vehicles. And Mercedes-Benz USA is under investigation by U.S. safety regulators. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the automaker may be taking too long to send safety recall notices to car owners and inform the government. NHTSA citing numerous instances in which owners of recalled cars weren't notified within the federally mandated 60-day window. The agency says that in addition, the recall reports omitted important details such as estimated percentage of defective units affected. In a statement to Bloomberg, Mercedes said it makes, quote, Every effort to ensure our recall campaigns and customer notifications are executed in a timely manner. The automaker adding, we will work closely with NHTSA on this audit query to address its concerns. With a rush of electric vehicles hitting the U.S. market in the coming years, access to a convenient network of chargers is critical if automakers want to spur EV acceptance. As our Irvash Kakaria reports, 
none besides Tesla were eager to spend the billions to build the infrastructure. But now Volkswagen is working to make it happen with its Electrify America unit, which was born out of its diesel emissions crisis. And it could become the industry's answer to Tesla's proprietary fast charger network. The subsidiary is pouring $2 billion over the next decade into developing a nationwide web of non-proprietary fast chargers accessible to all brands. The $2 billion will be invested in four 30-month cycles. In the first phase, Electrify America will deploy nearly 500 direct current fast charger sites in 17 urban areas and along highways by mid-2019. So far, 24 sites have opened. You can see more on the story in today's print and digital editions of Automotive News. And that wraps up today's newscast. Remember, Auto News Now comes your way this afternoon. Take care.